Greetings friends today we are going to learn about a very interesting topic and that will be custom login and registration forms many a times when you develop a django app you must wonder if the customer logs into your account through the django admin panel this of course creates a bit of security issue but it also limits the options for you to customize your login page of course we all have seen this admin panel and let's be honest it's not that good there we go let's check it out again yes exactly if you were to see a django admin uh, the django administration username uh, this this login window looks a bit pale and let's be honest even if you customize it a lot you will have you will still have some um, so let's see how we can remedy this I have created the simple login page which of course you can customize with javascript css and what not so let's see how i did it let's take a look in the django app the django app is called custom login and i have created this app called login in the custom login app i have simply for, uh, simply added the urls for the login.urls and in the settings.py file i have registered the login app now this is where all the work is done i have this python file called forms.py where i have created two uh, two classes called user login form and user registration form both of these are inherited from the django forms here one is forms.form while the other one is model form the difference between a form and a model form is that the model form is actually based upon a predefined model let's see what the user login form has we have two fields called username and password and a function called clean the clean function is called whenever we are submitting the form here we will simply clean that here first we will simply clean the data and then use the then there's a simple condition statement that has that checks if the user has input the username and passwords then we will simply authenticate the user using the authenticate function that we got from django.contrib.auth and then i have this user if for some reason be it the incorrect username or password the user will be null and thus we will simply raise a validation error in this case whereas if the pa if the username was correct but the password was incorrect we can simply raise another validation error here as well after this what we will do is invoke constructor for the uh, forms dot form where we will pass the user login form as as a parameter with this we will have with this we have covered the user login form now let's see how the user register form works first thing that i did was created a user model using the get user model from django.contrib.auth after that i have created these three fields the first one is email the next is email2 and the third one is password email and email2 are simply a way to confirm the email that is entered by the user in the form and the password and in the class meta i have in, i have used the model user to i have equated model equal to user and fields equal to username email email2 and password here as well i will create this clean function so that i can give it some functionality when the submit button is pressed after that let's see what the views.py file holds in the views.py file we have simple render and redirect functions then we have imported ev everything from the forms.py of this app after this we will also import authenticate get user model login and log out and of course i have also imported this login required 
decorator to demonstrate that the log to demonstrate the login in the home in the home function we are simply rendering this home.html file which is nothing but a simple salutation to our user that says welcome uh, and request.user and I have created a link so that the user can log out after that we have our login view in the login view the first thing that we do is create this next user request.get.get .get. now I have simply generated this login form if we are submitting the form we will input the data using the post request and for and if the request that was made is not post the data the field will be empty then if the form is valid we will first clean the data and then authenticate the user using the username and password now we will simply log in using the request and user and finally we will use the next here how this thing works is we are holding the operation that we wish to perform in the next variable and then we are simply returning a redirect statement with next in it if the next for some reason is null we will simply return a redirect statement to home which of course will redirect it to login view itself after that I have simply used the context to enter the form in the login.html file if you guys are still confused about how this next works think of it as a way to handle the post request next we have the register view in the register view we are using this next in the similar way but instead of the user login form we are using the user registration form here similarly I have first checked if the form that was submitted by the user is valid or not from there I will first simply save the form but set commit to false after that I will clean the data and then set the password now this time I will save the user after that I will use this new user field to authenticate into the user that has just been created and then login into the new user here as well uh, here I have used the next in a similar fashion like I did in the previous view after that I have also created this logout view where I am simply using this logout method so that I can better demonstrate the app now let's go check now let's go check this thing out Uh, let's first register and here I'll simply register a user called ABC with the email of with a random email address after that I will generate a random password now uh, let's just create it using the internet I'll be cre I'll be creating a password that is eight characters long and I'll simply copy and paste it here oh wait I have to end this is the confirm email field so I'll confirm the email here now let's submit it as you can see we were quickly authenticated into the home page where we have welcome ABC with that let's wrap up today's lecture that will be all for now. Thank you.